Hi, today we're going to be looking at these IBM paint marker pens. Now these are actually a pen that has real paint in them and you can use them for ceramic, wood, glass, metal, rock painting and of course shell painting. It comes in a really good selection of colours plus you get five white pens and two blacks in the packet and I think if I remember right these were like $15 on Amazon so they're really really good actually one of the better ones I've used for painting shells um, but they take a little bit of practice so let's have a go so what you're going to need is of course a shell the one I've got here is just an old clam shell and I've painted it with just a plain acrylic black paint a flat black not a shiny okay and that will give you a nice surface to paint on then what you can do is get yourself a little template you can print them off online this one's just a little turtle just go around the outside of it with a pencil and there is your turtle shape okay now the pens we're going to be using are these which are the paint pens and you've probably seen something similar uh, Sharpie does a brand but they're terrible they just the ends of them have a habit of falling out and they're not very good these ones I found are excellent so and they come in a nice bright range of colors and for somebody who's starting off with shell painting um, these are probably a lot easier to learn than trying to use the gel pens so here's one of the pen markers and number one thing you have to remember is to shake before you use because it is a liquid paint so you have to actually mix them up and then as you can see they have quite a not a really fine point and it does wear down the more you use it but it's good enough for like I said basic shell painting the other thing you need to do is give it a quick couple of presses down just to get the paint flowing once you've got that done you can start your painting and the other good thing with these are they're so quick and easy to do the paint flows really well you will have to press it down a couple of times more just to keep it going and I would not suggest you try pressing it on the shell you'll end up with a big blot of paint which you don't really want so just keep a piece of paper handy at the side and when it looks like you need a bit extra paint just give it a bit of a press so quick and simple you just outline you're not going to get um, really strong bright lines with these ones they give more like a chalk type effect which I think is actually quite nice in its own right but you can once it's dry you can always go back and just double line it and that will make the lines look a lot darker okay so here is our basic turtle shape and i said don't worry about the fact that the lines aren't very heavy you can go back and add some extra paint in a little while make sure though that these lines are really dry before you put that second coat on otherwise it'll just go streaky okay the num the second tip i want to give especially if you're painting shells or anything really like this is you need a dividing line between your actual picture which is going to be the turtle and the background so always go around and I always do this straight away so I don't forget it which I have done on top occasions which is really frustrating and put in a dividing line what this will do is allow this nice dark divide between the picture and the background so it doesn't all blend in together Yeah. 
it doesn't have to be great. I mean, this is just a one that you're going to practice on and try. And you can use any shell that you might have. These flat ones, of course, are much easier to, to paint on. And you can paint the background any colour you want. They can be white, blue, green, whatever you feel like. I just chose black because it tends to show up easier. Once you've got that in, it's just a matter of adding some design work inside of it. And I've painted so many of these little turtles now, I just sort of know exactly what I want to do. But there's no set pattern for them. It's whatever design you want to do. If you want to do a great big flower for the shell, you can put a great big flower on there. You could put a mermaid on the shell if you feel like it, or somebody's name. It doesn't really matter. It's whatever you feel like doing. Okay. And then for the flippers, I like to just do these little flowers. Or well, half a flower it is really. see how quickly this is coming together. And then we need some eyes, so we put the eyes in here. And remember you're going to be using another colour as well as white, so you can don't have to worry about all the blank spots, you'll go back a bit later and fill those in with whatever colours you're going to use. Turtle shell. That's actually the name of them, is a painted turtle. They have this beautiful sort of mosaic pattern on their shells. Okay, so there is your basic outline for your turtle. Okay, and then what you can do is pick a colour that you want to use next. Remember to shake, shake, shake these pens. Give it a few quick presses. Get that ink flowing. Okay. And then you can go back and just add little spots of colour wherever you want it. Okay, so once we have our turtle finished, then we need to <coughs> do some background. And there's a variety of different ways you can do the backgrounds, but today I'm just going to use this basic circular pattern. So it's just as simple as <coughs> drawing some circles. And they don't have to be perfectly round. And the shells are a curve, so it doesn't really show up that bad if they're out of shape. Okay, so there's our first one. <coughs> and if you have a small area like this, you could just do a half a circle. Just makes it a little easier to work with. 
and don't worry about filling in these gap areas we'll go back and use those up in a little while the other thing I like with these pens is they tend to go over any surface so like this particular shell has some ridges in it with the gel pens I normally use that would be difficult to paint with these they just sort of go right over it makes it much easier but you don't get the fine lines like you would with the gel pen and you just keep going around until you have filled up most of the shell with the circles There's no set amount of how many lines you have per circle. Some will have two, some will have three, some will have four or five. It just depends what will fit in to the area that you're using. And again, don't worry about, you know, if your lines aren't terribly neat right now, you can go back and fix those once the shell is dry and you can repaint over them okay so there is our circles and then you just start with your colors and you can do any patterns that you can think of so i tend to start with just simple straight lines for the first row we would go around and repeat it on the same line all the way around the shell. And the other good thing with these paints is they do dry fairly quickly, especially if you've got a warm day. If the paint's in a, a, a thicker line, it might take a little longer, but in general, probably within a minute, most of these are, are going to be dry to touch. Okay, so that's your first row done. Then you just pick your next colour and do a different pattern. So for this one I'm just going to use like a circle. And I said don't worry, you can see here I've gone over the white. It doesn't matter because you can go back and repaint those white lines and make them stand out nicely. Okay. Stick a dot in the middle of each of these. Okay, so that's the second row of colour, and then we just have one more final one. And for this one I'm just going to do a quick zigzag pattern. the main part of it done. The final stage is to go in and fill in the background and just like where we had the outline for the turtle so it doesn't blend into the background pattern we also want to make sure that these circles don't blend in with the background of whatever we're going to use as the filler pattern. So again you just carefully trace around the outside areas and you won't end up with a lot of room to fill but that's okay you don't need it okay so like that and then 
for the background filler pattern you can use anything you want you can use any color you want I'm just going to stick with white and I just fill it in with circles which I think looks like little bubbles It's quick, it's easy now. Remember this is just a demo show. I would take a lot more time and care if I was doing one of these to sell. But I just wanted to give you a quick look at how it's done. And as I said, you can go back any lines that you might have gone over with some of your paint. You just go back and go over them again. Make them stand out. finished. Quick easy way to do for learning how to do these or for younger people that aren't as good using a fine point in a gel pen. And like I said this was a really rough drawing. I just wanted to show you the basic techniques and here we have some more that I finished using these same pens. <coughs> And as you can see they come out pretty good all different colors and of course these have been uh, painted with a UV resistant clear coat which protects them once they're finished and we have a seahorse so here's all our shells that's the one we just painted so have fun trying this out uh, give these pens a try I will put a link to them and also a better description and anything else that I've used I'll include in the description below. Bye!